back out again. This is the second part of the first entry. Well, that's the second piece to the first video that I did on the CMR30. This is the PMR30. We're running the same magazines that we ran in the CMR30. It's, they take the same native magazines. So in a perfect world, they would be a very perfect match to each other to accommodate the same magazines and the same ammo. But we have reliability issues out of the CMR30. Like I've stated before in the old video, when I first ran this combo back in 2017, they just simply would not run either one of them. <clears throat> no matter what ammo we put in them, it just would not work. This one does have fiber optic sights. I like the orange and green because it's very high uh, luminescent and you can see it in the daylight and in low light conditions. It does have an optics plate on here where you can put an optic on it. I don't have an optic for it. It is not my pistol, it is one of my buddies. He's loaned these to me. He had very good luck with him with the 40 green Winchester, uh, with the 40 green CCI Maxi Mags. Or he may have been using something else, but what I could only get my hands on was the 40 green. That first magazine through the CMR actually ran pretty good. The last magazine ran decent, and the one in the middle ran all right. We did have a lot of hiccups out of it, so I'm hoping we don't get hiccups out of this. This has been cleaned and it has been oiled. Um, it has been sitting in my safe for about three weeks. It did accumulate a little bit of rust on the top. I don't know if that's because of the coating or whatever it may be. But let's get into the first shots of this thing. Um, I'm going to put this all on steel. I have some paper targets. I'm not going to show that. I just want to show the steel work on here. So you guys can actually hear the positive feedback. from it. So let's get the first shots on camera now. The same thing as the rifle, you have the release at the bottom of the grip and the insert. So you do keep your battery arms across the board. That is loud. God, that is loud. Jesus, that is way too loud for a pistol. That is louder than the 5.7. Oh my God. I may have to put some inside ear pro on. And you may be able to see a fireball for this thing too, because I can definitely see it. This is showing more reliability than the rifle. Same magazines, same ammo, but it just doesn't have enough kinetic energy to knock those plates down. Another magazine, tap it back to ensure the seating is good on it. That was a little sluggish. I think it was because of my finger. It did chamber. So let's see what happens. God, that surprises me every time. All right, let's try to run them down. This thing has surprised me. It is highly accurate. It does have a little muzzle flip similar to a nine millimeter. If it would keep this reliability and this accuracy across the board, I would definitely pick up one of these pistols if it continues this trend. Baby, I like that. Well, let me speak too soon, though. Yeah, I just hope it doesn't uh, surprise me again with that loud bang. And it did. God, that's, that's just loud. All right, Caltech, I see you on this one. I see you on this one. I'm using another Caltech person. I was very sketchy because of that CMR whenever I first shot it at both of them, whenever I shot it. But it looked like the, the pistol is eating the 40 greens up. No problem. 
Yeah, it just doesn't like that. Um, trying to release the magazine from the slide catch. All right, now we're gonna run them down for series this time. Uh, double feed, failure to feed, failure to eject and double feed. I may have tried to run it too fast. Come on, man, double feed, failure to feed. So it may be this magazine because those first three magazines ran good. If it does that again, I'll reload the other three mags and give her another chance. Yeah, this magazine may be poopy. So I'm gonna take this one out of the rotation because I, I want to really run this thing down and give it a fair chance. All right, yeah, let's go and load up those other magazines and get this All thing right. a fair chance. So I put five mag I put five rounds in each magazine. So whoo, Jesus, that's hot. I put five rounds in each magazine to check the reliability on each one of them. Okay. Same problem again. Damn, double double for you. Oh. Oh. I don't know, fellas. Maybe because they're hot or what? I don't know. Is it because they're getting hot or uh, run the last magazine? I got one in the chamber. I put the rest back in the magazine that I found that I ejected from those last ones. Let's run this magazine slow and see what happens. Maybe I'm running it too fast. I don't want to be making excuses, but maybe I'm running it too fast. See, this is hit and miss. So I don't know if it's the magazines or what, because those first four magazines ran absolutely flawless. <sighs> um, I guess if you could find this one for the right price, I would say you could use it. I would say take a chance on using it strictly as a range, uh, as a range toy trainer or whatever. That carbine, as of right now, no. This one, it may have been the the magazines because, like I stated before, the the ammo was the same in all of them, and it had that hiccup with that last magazine, which it didn't have before because they all ran flawlessly, and I had 15 rounds of each one of them, so that was four mags. That was 60 rounds, 75 rounds, and it had, I want to say like five failures. That's not a good ratio, um, but it is 22 rimfire. 22 rimfire is not that reliable, so you have to take that into account too with this. But it did have some double feeds, so that may be magazine related, solely because of some of the some of the reliability issues they're ammo specific and from what it looks like the magazines have to be in top shape in order to run right still shot good surprised me i can't take that away from it i'm not going to give it a bad review solely off of those ones i, I would have to at least get 300 rounds deep in but i'm not going to do that because this is not my pistol and this ammo is particularly high Oh, uh, like I said, I would, I would get it. I'm not saying that you need to go out and get it. This is not, don't take it as a bad review. Just take it as a bad first shot. I don't know how new it is. I don't know how old it is. And I don't know how much he has shot. I didn't get all that information from him. But with all that being said, guys, I'll see y'all in the next one. Um, 
do me a big favor. Like, share, subscribe, and comment on this thing. Send it out to the algorithm so YouTube knows that you like these videos and you prefer these kind of style of videos from me. I would much appreciate it. But with all that being said, guys, hit that like, share, subscribe. Come back and enjoy some more videos with me, and I'll see y'all in the next one.